I am holding a shovel nose guitar fish. Uh, a shovel nose guitar fish is a native fish to the San Francisco Bay. Who knew? And it's this genetic evolution between a bat ray, like a stingray, and a shark. And you can kind of see that in the picture where it's flat like a bat ray, but it kind of looks like a shark. And they can get really big. Apparently, I used to work at the Marine Science Institute, and, the, and a lot of people said that they've never seen a shovel nose guitar fish that big. And we caught that one right underneath the Golden Gate Bridge, where the water's really deep. There's lots of good nutrients for the shovel nose guitar fish. And um, it was able to get really big. Um, this is a female shovel nose guitar fish, and we can tell if you look underneath, but female shovel nose guitar fish can get to be about six feet, which is almost as big as the one that I have here. This uh, shovel nose is about as tall as me. I'm 5'5", five five, and this, this fish was huge. She was so sweet, so docile, let us hold her, and then we put her right back in the bay the second this picture was done getting uh, taken. Uh, what's really cool about shovel nose guitar fish, one of my favorite things to talk about, you can see these little like bubbles exploding from the shovel nose guitar fish's face. And they actually have something called spiracles. And that's a way for them to get oxygen into their body without actually moving. So I, I think a lot of people know that sharks have to keep swimming. Most sharks have to swim to keep blood pumping through their body and, and keep like air flowing through their gills. But shovel nose guitar fish have a really cool adaptation where they don't need to move at all because those spiracles are doing all that pumping, kind of like our heart pumps for us. They're pumping water and keeping things circulating through their spiracles so they can stay really nice and flat at the bottom of San Francisco Bay and wait for a nice uh, tasty bite to wiggle in the sand. Uh, shovel nose guitar fish love to eat shrimp and like little things that live in the sand, uh, worms and stuff, and they'll wait to feel some movement and then sh shovel their little nose into the mud and grab something to eat. So I'm so glad y'all asked. Uh, we could talk about shovel nose guitar fish all day, every day. Um, but these are the animals that are really affected by all that pollution that we leave on the ground. Um, the trash after a big rain will go into the storm drains and head right out to that ecosystem that that shovel nose guitar fish was in. So it's really important that we do our part on land um, to make sure that that habitat stays nice and clean for the shovel nose guitar fish and the other fish that live in our bay, um, as well as all the recreating we get to do in San Francisco Bay.